All right, guys, this is the second episode of clearing and preparing the yard for grass seed. And boy, was this a lot of work, but it was something that uh, had to be done. It was just too expensive to pay somebody to do it. So um, obviously in the first episode, you saw that I got all the land cleared. I showed you how I did that. Um, in this episode, you're going to see how I got it uh, basically prepared for the grass seed and how I put the grass seed down. So um, I dissed it. Then I drug it, I rented a Harley rake, ran that over all this to smooth it out, fill in the holes, kind of bust up all the dirt clods, and then uh, we seeded it down, and then lightly drug it, and now I got straw up around the house. So let's just go ahead and uh, show you the action, and uh, hopefully enjoy this. Um, I'm anxious to get back in the house. Uh, I'm sorry for all of you guys who are watching this just specifically for the house but I'm gonna share this whole process with you um, because you know if you're a, a DIY person and these are all things you can do yourself and save yourself money so I'm gonna share share them with you um, share my trials and uh, the things that uh, go wrong for me or go good for me and how it works out so you can uh, make a better decision on your project so let's go ahead and jump into it all right I got these piles of brush Pretty much burnt down to nothing and so basically how i do that is i'll start up the fire let it burn i wait till the wind's blowing the way i want want it to for a couple days so i don't bother neighbors and stuff like that because the smoke can be pretty bad so um, but then i'll come back and i just keep stacking the leftover wood that didn't burn back on the main fire and you can pretty much in a couple days time get it down to about nothing which is i'm where i'm at now so I've killed all this these weeds and everything, and some of this actually burnt when I burnt the piles, but I'm gonna try to burn some of this, see if it will burn. And I went and got my tractor and disc, and we're probably gonna disc this up. Um, this part over here, down and through here, is gonna be, I'm gonna plant it in um, turnips and chicory and clover for this year. And, uh, mainly for the deer and turkeys and stuff like that and then next year i'll decide what i want to do with it so we're gonna go ahead and see if we can light some of this and if not we're just gonna go ahead and disc The honey thorn locusts have got revenge on me with the flat tire on my tractor, but I was quickly able to uh, remove the tube and put a new valve stem in it and seal it up. good over here until we get the Harley rake um, so tomorrow I'll do all of this here and around back of the back of the house and we'll be one step closer to grass with that but the first thing I do is I got to get these cut off and these are basically inspection ports for the septic chambers and I put them in for curiosity more than anything they weren't required but I wanted to see you know how much liquid was in there when this was up and running so um, we get these cut off so they're just below the ground so I can just mow right over them they're not a hazard
All right, well, I got them all cut off, and you can see that, uh, you know, the liquid's coming into each chamber, but there's no standing liquids in there, which is a good sign. Um, I don't know, it seems like this uh, system was overkilled to me, but, you know, to pass inspection, you, you have to put in what the county requires uh, based on a perk test, so that's what I did, but after seeing this, I really feel like as long as I keep trees off this area and stuff like that, the system should last, uh, I don't know, I don't want to say forever, but it should last uh, my lifetime anyway. So we get these last couple glued on and then uh, put a flag on these and then we'll get working. All right, we're on to the Harley Rake portion of this lawn, and I got, I've never operated one of these before. I have an idea how I think it should work. Uh, the only thing I'm bummed about, it doesn't have a hydraulic um, where I can tilt it or angle it to left or right, which I wish it did. But, went ahead and practiced over here, and I think it's gonna work out all right. It is so dusty, though. Um, but that made a really nice seed bed there, so. Pretty excited about that. I'm gonna work on this area over here, get a little more comfortable with it uh, before I get up around the house. But working out, I think it's gonna work out pretty good. But like I said, it is a dust bowl out here, so I'm gonna be covered by the end of the day. All right, well, I've got, I don't know, probably 75% of the Harley raking done, and Brian's out here helping me today. And he's dragging this, and we got some grass that's, dead grass that's left over, and we're trying to get it all clumped up. I think I'm just gonna burn it. But, looking pretty good. That Harley rake is definitely awesome. So, you guys are doing a big area. It's unbelievable how that smooths and levels it off as you go. But I'm gonna try to get, uh, Got those seven viewing uh, pipes for the septic chambers. I gotta get those filled in and level. I gotta bring the dirt up around that a little bit and then work all this area around those two septic caps there. if you can tell by looking at me but it is a dust bowl out here I am completely covered in dust and dirt and it's nasty all right guys chance of rain this afternoon we're gonna get this fertilizer in and then probably spread some seed 
and probably drag it quick after I spread this fertilizer. But this is what I'm dealing with here. I've got a fertilizer buggy. Got it hooked up. Got the fertilizer in there. See how this goes. Test her out. All right, well, I got my whole yard seeded, and the last thing to do is put some straw down. I want to put straw all around the house where the it's kind of sloped, and then along my driveway. So down here, are my neighbors, and we're gonna get some uh, straw loaded up. So let's get after it. I probably put down 30, 35 bales of straw today around the house. Just want to get this grass going. So I'm going to water this up around the house on this steep slope. So I'm just working the sprinkler around the outside. It wasn't too bad putting this down. Obviously, there's easier ways to do it, but 
I think if I can water this just all week, it's gonna be a little bit of work, um, but I think this will all sprout uh, by next week. So got my water over here right now. But you can see I took the straw down to the bottom of the hill basically. And I do have some more straw that I'm gonna do, but whew. Um, honestly, I just got a little wore out today. So straws down all around the house. So 50% chance of rain tonight, 30% chance tomorrow, and then there's some chances throughout the week. Um, but nonetheless, this seed will be fine as long as it doesn't get wet and then doesn't get rain for a while. Um, but I'm gonna get all this around the house started with a sprinkler. Should be up within seven to 10 days and I'm just gonna keep watering it unless it rains because I wanna get this up around the house um, growing to secure all this dirt so if we get a heavy rain, it won't wash away. Um, these bigger areas, I'm just gonna have to take what I get for rain and growth and, and hopefully um, this seed isn't wasted, but I don't think it will be. Also, uh, got some gravel to kind of clean this area up. Got the kids over there playing in the rocks. Got some gravel down the driveway. It's looking pretty good. This here will be like a flower bed and then three feet out basically around the whole house. So anyway, I appreciate you guys watching um, this episode and stay tuned. I'm going to be getting back into the house and getting after it. And uh, it's going to get exciting because I got about, I think about two weeks and then I'll be able to have the drywall drywallers going so I'm pretty excited about that but I'll keep you updated on this lawn and uh, we'll catch you on the next video